This one is a big money bolo. If you guys are not familiar. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about items that I sold on Poshmark, items that I flipped for a profit, items that I bought low and sold high. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I sell tons of hard goods on Poshmark. So if you are not selling hard goods, definitely think about it, and you're gonna see why. All right, let's get started here with the first item. The first item are these wooden trains. And if I remember correctly, these came out of the Goodwill bins, but I'm not 100% sure. I pick up toys at garage sales, thrift store mystery boxes. I get them everywhere. These are something that I definitely source for. Now, one important thing to know about these trains, some of them can go individually for big money. So should you look them up? Yes. Now, the wooden trains... I don't know if there's any of those that are big money. You really have to maybe go to solds and search wooden train lot because these don't have a brand. But I will tell you, like, there's certain Thomas the Train and those different ones that depending on which character it is, they can go for big money. So definitely do your research. There's some Thomas the Train that you push a button and they have lights and sound. Those will go for a little more. But these, I believe, are vintage, not 100% sure, so I did not put that in my title, but they are 12 magnetic. They've got the little magnet on them, so they stick together. Wood trains. I sold these for $46 plus shipping. This guy right here came out of a mystery toy box that I got from Donatella Bottolino, and I did an unboxing on my channel if you would like to check that out. She sells... Um, items to resellers on her YouTube channel. So it's Donatella Bottolino. I will link it down below if you are looking for inventory. But this was one of the items that was in my toy box that I was kind of like, eh, it doesn't, I've never heard of, heard of Midwood brands, but I was like, maybe it'll sell. But I felt like somebody needed to see it. And I felt like Poshmark was the best uh, platform for this item. So I only put it on Poshmark. And would you believe it? It sold for $7 plus shipping, which I think is pretty incredible. So just like every uh, brand, there's people out there that look for items that are a particular brand. Maybe they had it as a kid. So even though it wasn't a uh, Transformers brand, this is still a transforming car that somebody found and wanted. So definitely keep that in mind. This is a Domo Kun plush toy Japanese character. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold this plush stuffed animal for $15 plus shipping. Um, plush is more of a reseller term. Stuffed animal is more of a parent looking for a toy for their child. So it's good to use both in the title. I did not use stuffed animal in the title for this one, but I do recommend it. And that was my mistake. So definitely keep that in mind when you're listing plush and stuffed animals. This one right here is a Jelly Cat London white Bon Bon mini sheep plush lovey stuffed animal. So again, I've got plush and stuffed animal in the title. I picked this up at a garage sale. I believe it was 50 cents and I sold this for $19 plus shipping. It might've been a dollar. This I remember I got at the Goodwill, um, just the Goodwill store. And I wanna say it was $2.99 if I remember correctly. I think I have a uh, thrift with me video on this. And I picked it up and it still had the possible dreams tag on it. I could not find anything like this. I priced it high. I ended up taking an offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping on that one. This here is a Creative Memories scrapbooking carry-all storage tote. And I only put this on Poshmark. I felt like it was a little bit flooded on the other platforms and would do better over here. And I was correct. It sold really quickly for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. This came out of a, uh, a garage sale. It was a huge lot of Creative Memories scrapbooking items. I paid, I think... 
oh, I have a video on it. I want to say $50 for all of it. It was a ton. And what I have learned from that is that creative memories items sell fantastic. Definitely Bolo for them. Bolo means be on the lookout. Okay, so here's some more Thomas the Train. These are the little guys. These are the minis. And I sold nine of these for $21 plus shipping. The next item is this Wild Republic Snowy Owl plush. Um, if you look down in the actual title at the bottom in the description, it does say stuffed spotted white animal also. I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping for that. And I don't remember where I got it or what I paid for it. Here is some yarn that I picked up at an estate. I bought a huge bag of yarn for one price and I bought multiple bags. So um, my cost of goods was probably like a dollar for this, if not less. And I sold this for $39 plus shipping. This is a discontinued color. Um, it's called Caron Ombre. And there were six of them here. And it's a Christmas knitting yarn. So that was a great new old stock item right there. NOS stands for new old stock. If you watched my hashtag bins bingo video, I did a collaboration video with a bunch of other resellers where... I sent them into the Goodwill bins to look for items on a bingo card. And if you guys want to play bins bingo, if you go over to my community page and scroll, 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 you will find a bingo card. You can print that off. And if you're a YouTuber and you do a video, hashtag it bins bingo and message me either on Instagram or Facebook. And I will share that in my Facebook group and my Facebook group is up to 80,000 members. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. If um, you're not in my Facebook group, definitely go and check it out and uh, join. It's free to join and you can learn about Bolo items. But anyway, these Duplo Legos sold for $50 plus the buyer paid shipping and they sold really quickly. These were dug out of the Goodwill bins. And this was, I think this was either my free item or my toy item. I can't remember. You guys can go put in hashtag Ben's Bingo into the YouTube search bar and it will pull up all of the videos of everyone that participated. And there's still people participating. So new videos are being added all the time. This is a mixed lot of Barbies, Disney and miscellaneous dolls. They are all TLC. Um, this one came from a um, Bolo Buddies member, they sent me Buddy Mail, which was basically a big mystery box of toys. It was awesome. And this is one of the items that I sold. And I sold all of these for $30. And they actually sold to somebody on um, Poshmark. And what she does is she takes the dolls and she dresses them up for like Christmas and different themes and she sells them. So she'll fancy them all up. So that was really cool. So uh, I will try to remember to link her store down in the description of the video. I have to look for it. This is a chunky statement piece necklace. I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. That is basically a mystery jewelry box and she sells to resellers. I will link her down in the description, but I, I think it was like a $50 jewelry box, free shipping. I sold this one item for $15 plus shipping. Um, I do the unboxings on my channel. So if you type in Bolo Buddies, Donatella Bottolino, it will pull up all of the unboxings that I've done with her. And then I've also bought from Auctions For You. So same thing, type in Bolo Buddies, Auctions For You, and you can see those unboxing videos. I pop up how I listed everything and I show you guys what I expect to make off of those boxes. This is a Heartstone coffee mug, and these range from $10 to up to $40 for some of the like Halloween and specialty ones. $25 was a good price. I don't think I would have gotten $25 on eBay um, or Macari. So I was really happy to get $25 for this one. I pick these up usually for a buck or less at garage sales. I think they are from the Ohio area, so I do find them all the time. And um, mugs are not really my thing. I'm not a big fan of breakables, but I will pick up Hearthstone. All right. You know my money pile of all of the clothing that I don't want to list? Well, there was this one day and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull out a bunch of these Lane Bryant skirts. I know I've got a bunch of duplicates. I'm just going to list some of them. This was one of them that I listed and I sold it for $35 plus shipping. So I need to get those clothes listed, but who knows when it will happen. I think think that maybe I may bring those items to whatnot 
and just sell them over there because I'm really not interested in doing measurements and pictures and dressing a mannequin. I just don't want to do clothing anymore. It doesn't interest me. So whatnot would be a good way for me to show the item and just move it quickly. So if you're not following me on whatnot, definitely um, there's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with that link. Um, I am Bolo Buddies, all one word on whatnot, and I have been having some really fun sales. So definitely consider coming over and saying hello. All right. So this is a handmade glass pendant, and this was a bundle deal. So I sold this. I sold these little lions by Wade. I sold this kitty cat bracelet, and I sold this cat vest. So this was basically probably somebody looking through my store for items that featured cats. So I sold all four of these items for $80 and the buyer paid shipping. So it was a bundle of four items. This came out of the Goodwill bins and it had issues. Literally, um, the pants had been cut off on the bottom and I think they were, they, it didn't, it looked like a raw hem. So Basically, I just sold it as is and I put read in the title and it sold super quick for $7. So I was really excited about that because I was really just going to donate it. And I thought, hey, I'm just going to throw this up on Poshmark and see if somebody can use it. The next item is this vintage 1985 uh, cross stitch kit. And I don't even remember where I got this. This one was listed for a while. This one was a little harder to sell for some reason. It sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Usually I pay a buck or less for my cross stitch kits unless I know there's something super special. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. It is a CD set. Honestly, I was just going to donate it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it because maybe somebody wants it. It's Celtic Christmas uh, two-piece CD set. I did look at it and it looked good. I didn't test it, but usually you can tell if an item is scratched up or not. So I went ahead and listed it and sold it for $7 plus shipping. This right here, I could not find a brand, but when you pushed the white button, it sounded like it was flushing. So this was a pretend doll potty with flushing sound. No clue. I mean, it's not very big at all. Super funny item. And I sold it for $11 plus shipping. I think it came in like a toy bundle. Maybe it was a mystery toy box. I'm not sure. It wasn't something that I sourced, but it was something I happened upon. Okay, this one is a big money bolo. If you guys are not familiar with squinkies, definitely get familiar with them. Some of them, um, I think they come in the little blind bags, not 100% sure, but some of them are harder to find. You can sell them individually. I actually got... Um, this whole set for one price. I can't remember. Uh, I can't, I want to say this might've been a Facebook marketplace buy, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I can't remember. Oh my goodness. That's awful. But anyway, I sold this for $136 plus shipping. I would be certain to say that it was probably around five to 10 bucks max that I had in it. Um, I'm pretty, thrifty. Who call myself thrifty? I'm cheap, you guys. I don't spend a lot of money on the stuff I sell. Um, I like to find good deals. So $136 plus shipping on the squinky set. This is a Playmobil miniature dollhouse furnitures and accessories. This came out of a thrift store mystery toy box. I sold these for $40 plus shipping. This is a David's bridal dress. Again, this was not one of my better buys. I went on to David's bridal website and I looked for coupons and I bought clearance dresses. Now, when I first did it, I was selling them for a lot more money. Actually, this one did pretty well. Now they're selling for anywhere between $20 and $50. Uh, not a home run. I paid for most of them $15 or less. This is back when I did retail arbitrage and I sold a bunch of clothing. So this one sold for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. I was really happy to get $50 for it. This is a Vera Bradley contact case. This took forever to sell. Um, I did have it cross posted to eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. All of these items were on all three platforms and these items sold faster on Poshmark. Do I recommend cross posting your items? Absolutely. I use List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019 and different eyes on different platforms. 100% people that shop on Poshmark 
are not on eBay, are not on Mercari. I shop on all three because I sell on all three. But I, if I had to guess, most people that sell on Poshmark shop on Poshmark. People that sell on Mercari uh, buy on Mercari. So something to consider. Um, back to list perfectly. If you want to learn how it works, I do have a demo video where I show you a exactly how I do it. I actually am doing it in the video. It's a tutorial demo video. I like to see things before I invest my time and money into them. So I show you how I use it. And if you decide you want to get it after you um, watch the video, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And it is a monthly subscription, but you will see it will pay for itself within a couple sales. Totally worth it. And if you've been here on my channel a while, you know that I talk about lists perfectly all the time. And it's something that I have been talking about since 2019. Like, I love it. Now, I did pay up for these a little bit. I think I paid $5 a piece for them. So I've got 20 bucks in these. I thought that they were going to be a little more of a home run. And they were not. So I ended up selling these for $65. And the buyer paid shipping. They are Thomas Piccone Ornaments. Some Thomas Piccone can do really well. It's definitely a brand you want to look up if you see it. Did I still make money? Yes, but it wasn't the home run that I was hoping for. This is a Fredericks of Hollywood wig. This is another retail arbitrage. Went on to Fredericks of Hollywood, found coupons, bought on clearance. I think I paid eight bucks for these. I definitely overpaid, um, but they are still selling. I probably bought 20 of them and I bought them in red and black and I'm just selling them on all three platforms. They do sell, but they are very long tail. This one sold for $20 buyer paid shipping. This is a Polly Pocket Splash and Slide Compact. This, I believe, came out of a thrift store mystery box. So my cost of goods was probably like a buck. I sold this for $13 plus shipping. Bluebird Toys are the vintage Polly Pocket. If they say Bluebird, that is definitely something you want to look up. This one was missing the slide and it still sold. If you get a whole bunch of these and you sell them in a huge lot, you can make hundreds of dollars. Definitely a bolo. This right here is a Hallmark Tremblin Toads Lights and Sound and Motion New Old Stock Plush Toy. And it's really funny because I was recently over on Whatnot and I was watching a show by Zombie Bargain Hunter and he was doing all animated plush. So things that either have lights or sound or do something, they move around. And this is one of the items he was selling. And I was like, oh my goodness, I've sold that item. I couldn't remember what I sold it for, but I sold it for $31 plus shipping. I did bid on that item. I think it got bid up to seven or eight bucks. So that person is probably going to buy it and resell it. Whatnot is a great place to source. Um, if Even if you don't want to sell on the platform, you can definitely buy on it to resell. And I do have a link down below for Whatnot. So definitely check that out because you can get that $15 to shop. All right, Ruby's Vintage Dracula Teeth. These came from, I think these were a thrift store mystery box or they were from a big Halloween lot that I got at a garage sale. I can't remember which. I think it was the garage sale. And I sold these for $15 plus shipping. This next item is a Disney store, the Amor, Amore, Amore die cast cars. And these came from a garage sale and they had really great items at this garage sale. I believe I paid five bucks for this. I sold this for $39 plus shipping. This next item is this crash belt buckle. And somebody had made me an offer on this and I did not put which toad it was in because I had had it forever. And I just took the item down. I completely canceled it and did not accept their offer because I'm like, I have no idea where it is and I don't want to spend 10 hours looking for it. Well, down the road, I found it when I was looking for another item. So I relisted it and it sold super quick for $20 plus shipping. These vintage clip-on earrings, I don't remember where I got them, but I sold these for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. And they were signed S. I'm not sure what the S stood for. And I do have two Christmas bundles available in my Poshmark closet right now. These would be um, items that you could buy to resell or if you collect vintage Christmas items. Um, these are great lots. 
this um, I kind of had to split the picture. I messed up and didn't take a full view picture, but you can look at the different pictures to see close-ups of the items that are included. I have $25 on this lot. If you go into my Bolo Buddies Poshmark closet and type in Christmas bundle, it will pull both of these up. Here's the other one that I have listed for $30. This is actually a big angel and I forgot to put her in the picture. She's actually this big. This is a 12 by 12 by eight box. So she's about 12 inches big. She's pretty cool. And then you also get all of these items and it's $30 for all of it. So um, if you're interested in that, those items are available in my Poshmark in my Poshmark closet if they have not already sold. All right, you guys, I hope to do more bundles like that. Those were actually items that um, I had brought to Whatnot and they didn't sell or they were items that I was going to show on Whatnot, but I didn't have time because I had, I want to say four, maybe five Christmas shows on Whatnot and I just couldn't get to everything. So I decided to make Poshmark bundles. So those are over there on Poshmark if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know which one was your favorite bolo. Check out some of my other videos. Um, I mainly sell most of my items on eBay. I have tons and tons of what sold videos. And I break them down into big money bolos and bread and butter bolos. Bread and butter are items that I sold for $35 or less. You can also check out my what sold on Mercari videos if you're thinking about going over to Mercari and selling. I do have a referral link down below. If you join with it to join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop just for joining. And then if you sell on Mercari and you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get another $20 to shop, which is pretty cool, right? So, um, and it's a referral link. So they also give me money to shop. So I appreciate it when you guys use my referral links. It helps me keep the channel going and getting content out to you guys. And it means a lot to me when you use those. So thank you so much. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, let me know how you found it and leave me an emoji down in the comments. Thanks for watching.